Overnight, it's the opening act of a hurricane double threat. So we're going to get basically a right hook from Marco and then a left hook from, from Laura. Laura doing damage as a tropical storm, carving up Caribbean islands and claiming three lives in the Dominican Republic. But the more immediate threat to the Gulf of Mexico is Marco. Louisiana already declaring a statewide emergency as coastal residents clog highways trying to get out of town. While in New Orleans, shovels fill sandbags and residents stock up on groceries. You put your guard down and then you're hit by the, the mothership of all uh, storms. Colin Arnold heads the city of New Orleans Emergency Operations Center. He says the Big Easy's made big strides since Hurricane Katrina struck in 2005. How does the level of protection now compare to where you were 15 years ago? It's much better. I mean, we have a two and a half mile surge barrier, the Great Wall of New Orleans. Katrina's 15 year anniversary this week, hitting home for those like Symphony Hunter, who says she lost three cousins on this very street. They tried to get out. But they couldn't. Their water came too fast. Others in the historic Lower Ninth Ward worried, even with a revamped levee system, that there will be trouble. When it rained, this whole street be flooded on a regular day. So imagine two storms coming back to back with a number of rain. Now, New Orleans has invested nearly $15 billion in a new levee protection system. But between Lake Pontchartrain, where I am, and the Mississippi River, this entire city is still below sea level which means with Laura expected to dump more rain in an already saturated area, that could be prime conditions for flooding. Savannah? Sam Brock in New Orleans. People very anxious there, Hoda. Yeah, and we're going to bring in Al Roker, who's tracking both of these storms. If you've ever lived in New Orleans or been to New Orleans, Al, they always say it's never the wind, it's always the rain with these storms. That's right. And this is going to be the problem. Even with Marco as a tropical storm, it's still going to bring a lot of rain with it. Right now, Marco's 115 miles south, southeast of the mouth of the Mississippi, 60 mile per hour winds. It's weakened some overnight. Northwest movement at 10 miles per hour. Laura is back around Cuba, with 65 mile per hour winds moving west, northwest at 21. We'll start with Marco. It's going to rake the Louisiana and then Texas coastlines as a tropical system. But don't don't let that fool you. Just because it's a tropical system don't mean doesn't mean that it won't be big impacts. Heavy rain, flash flooding, a two to four foot storm surge for the Louisiana coast, and we can't rule out tornadoes. 10 inches of rain or more possible. Now, Laura comes out through tomorrow morning, limited strengthening while it's over Cuba. But then early tomorrow morning, it gets out over the Gulf. And here's where the problems develop. And this is why we're going to see significant strengthening. Warm water, a low wind shear, nothing to tear this apart, and high moisture following Marco's path. And so that's where we're going to see a lot of heavy rain. We're going to see winds locally 15 inches of rain possible. And again, with this system and the cone, we have to keep it very, very careful. We're looking at five U.S. landfalls so far this season. The record is six by September 1st. We're probably going to beat that this week with the landfalls of Marco and Laura. And guys, again, heavy rain, saturated ground, isolated tornadoes, a lot of problems still, even with a tropical storm like Marco, don't let that fuel you. And then we've got Laura right behind it.